Hi everyone, my name is Ankush Chaudhary and welcome back to Learn My Technologies YouTube channel. We are going to discuss about, again, something interesting, something new. And today's topic is PostgreSQL schema management. So you might have a questions like, uh, what is schema? What is user? All these things we are going to discuss in our today's lecture. But before I go to the technical part, let me do some branding. If you are interested to join our PostgreSQL DBA training, you can reach out to the LearnMe team. We provide the real time, the practical based training over here. So uh, let's come back and let's try to understand about schema first. Um, see, uh, whenever you are going to do the installation of PostgreSQL server, I'm considering that this is my PostgreSQL server. And when I do the installation of PostgreSQL server, by default, you will have a database with the name Postgres, right? So you will have a database with the name Postgres here. Now, assume a situation that you have one more database. Okay, you created one more database here. Uh, let's say that name is DB1. And when you do the installation of this PostgreSQL server, you got Postgres as a database and then you created one more database with the name DB1 over here. Now, what is schema here? You know, what is schema? So schema is basically a namespace where it stored the collection of object. Like, let's say, I'll give you one example. Let's say I want to create an employee table. So I'll run the command like create table EMP. So this EMP table will be the part of some schema. So, so what is that schema? When you fire the command like create table EMP. So your EMP table will be stored into some schema. So what is schema here? So schema is basically a collection of object. What is schema? Schema is basically a collection object. So let's say I have a schema with the name SC1. So under this SC1, I'm going to create my table. Let's say I have created EMP1 and EMP2. Okay. So when I fire the command like create table, I need to specify a schema name sc1.emp. It means this EMP table, this is my table name, this is my table name, will be created under sc1 schema. So what is schema? Schema is a namespace which is having a different, different type of objects will be there. Now this schema can have table, it can have functions, it can have views, it can have synonyms, it can have anything. Okay. So what is schema? Schema is a collection of objects. You can have multiple objects. So why we are using this schema? You know, basically it is mainly helpful um, to structureize the database, you know. So I have a schema and under that schema, I have these two tables are there. Now let's say I did not specify, I did not specify SC1 here. Consider the situation that I did not specify SC1 here. I just simply say create table, table name. Then where the, where the table will be getting created. So by default, there will be a schema. We call it as a public schema. This is a default schema. And this schema will be available in all the databases. What I mean to say, let's say this is my PostgreSQL server. Okay. Under that, I have two databases are there. So by default, one schema will be getting created. That schema name, we call it as a public schema. What is schema? So you will have public schema here also, public schema here also. Okay, now you might have a question like, does this schema is on database level or on cluster level? Schema is always on database level. What I mean to say, let's say I created one schema here with the name SC1. So this SC1 is belonging to the Postgres database only. Let's say I created one schema with the name SC2. So this SC2 schema is belonging to the DB1 only. So it is not on cluster level, it is on database level. So schema is always there on database level. So every database will have by default public schema and you can create your customized schema also. Under this schema, you will have your database objects will be there. Under that schema, you will have your database objects like table and all. So whenever you want to create a table, you need to specify a schema name. If you don't specify a schema name, then what will be the default schema? Your public schema. So public schema, like any objects, which is available under the public schema that is accessible by all the users. Let's say I created one user with the name U1 here. So U1 can access a U1 can access this public schema object. By default, public table will have access. It is accessible by all the users. 
So we normally in real time production way environment, we don't create our objects under public schema. Where we create it, we create under your customized schema. Let's say I have SC1 and SC2. So why we created this schema? Again, uh, for the database structure, it is really good. Second thing is you can set the permission on schema level. You can set the permission on schema level. Okay. So you can say that, okay, who can access the objects? Who can access the object? You can set the permissions. Basically, you can set the permission. Whenever you want to set the permission in PostgreSQL, you can set the permission on schema level also. You can set the permission on database level also. That is also possible. Okay. But right now, we need to focus on schema. That is the reason we use we use schema. So what is schema? Schema is a collection of object. You have one wrapper under that you can put your, so it's not, it's a logical thing. Okay. You have a wrapper under that you have your objects are available. Whenever you are going to create a table, that table will be getting created under by default public schema. But if you specify a schema name, it will be getting created over here. Till now, whatever we discuss, able to understand, is it clear or not? Again, we need to understand one more concept. We called it as a search path. There is one more concept we need to understand that is called search path. But I will not explain this concept in today's lecture. I will explain you this concept in tomorrow's lecture. But for that, you just need to subscribe to this channel. Share this video with your friends who want to start their career into the DBA, PostgreSQL DBA. So we are starting a new batch of PostgreSQL. If you are interested, you can reach out to the number which is available over here on the screen. One more thing. You can follow us on our Insta. You can follow me on LinkedIn. You can follow me on all the social media, what we have. All the links are available in the description of this video. You can also join our WhatsApp group. We have a lot of technical stuff going on over there. Thank you.